Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw this Dove of Peace digitally. We will use the program Procreate but you can follow along with any digital program really. Let's create a screen sized document, pick a blue, we make a horizon line which optimizes if we hold the tip of the pencil down and actually I want a more intense blue, one that looks more like the flag of the Ukraine and we drop it on that space for the sky. I don't want it totally flat so with a soft airbrush and a lighter blue we create some thin clouds. What I'm trying to do here is to create an NFT that is a non-fungible token, a piece of art on the blockchain in order to help a little the people in need in the Ukraine. As we know there are civilians dead, injured and many homeless. At the time I am recording this about 1.5 million citizens have left the Ukraine and are now refugees in the surrounding countries. A lot of people need help so I will auction this NFT and 100% of the proceeds will be donated to the Ukrainian Red Cross. I will post the receipt on my Twitter account so you can verify this. I personally have several dear friends in the Ukraine and by the way I also have good friends in Russia who are extremely saddened and distressed because of the situation. This is not a political video, I just want to help these people in sudden need and I hope you can help too in any way you can. Thank you in advance. The link for this artwork is in the description below the video. To draw this golden field I chose the paper daisy brush which is within the organic menu. Of course we keep in mind the colors of the Ukraine's flag. And I want to give a texture to the sky with a slightly darker hue. Good. Now to draw the dove, it is easier for me to visualize it over a flat color. So we will use this lighter blue and we can draw with white. I'm using the hard blend brush, which is my favorite for painting in general with this program. We began with the head and body, then the wings and now the tail. I will color first the areas in shade and then we will add the lights. I invite you to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Artist Leonardo for the most recent images and news. The dove will be pretty much backlit so it will have a lot of light on the edges, especially the top edge, while the inner parts will be in shade. The thin feathers that are at the bottom, both on the wings and tail, will be very light because they are pretty transparent. Let's see how it looks now against the background. Alright, but the yellow is so strong that it takes away from the dove. So we make it less intense by lowering the opacity of that layer. I flip around the image to see it from a different angle and catch mistakes. I want to make the feathers of the wings longer so that they look thicker. We can draw a guiding line on a new layer so that afterwards we will be able to easily erase it. And now we extend the tips of the feathers to it. Good, I will crop it a little bit so that the ground is about one third of the image and now I will upload the photo to my iPad to an app called Motion Leap to create a nice effect on the background. And if you got all the way to this point, 
I would love to know it. Please in the comments write the secret code. Let's help. And please do help in one way or another. Thank you. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already, visit or share this NFT with the link below, and I will see you with more creations on Tuesday.